Forgive me, Father, for, for I have sinned. We have all made mistakes, my son. Tell me what happened. I took the Lord's name in vain. Oh, my goodness. And what caused you to do that? Well, I was playing golf with some friends, having the best round of my life. Go on, my son. Well, I'm in the 18th fairway, see? Needed an eagle to have the lowest score I've ever had. Now, the 18th is a par 5, and I smoked my drive by 320 yards. I had about 245 yards into the flag, so I hit a solid 5-wood, and it is dead on line with the flag stick. And I'm thinking to myself, this is going to be tight. The ball hits a bird in mid-flight, falls to the ground. That is a bit unlucky, but I don't think it warrants that type of blasphemy. No, that didn't do it. Then a squirrel comes running out of the woods, grabs my ball, and starts running down the fairway. Hmm. Being an avid golfer myself, I'm beginning to understand why you would want to curse our Lord. I agree, and I kept it together even after that. But then this hawk swoops down from a tree, grabs the squirrel, and takes off with the squirrel, while the squirrel is still clutching my golf ball. Wow. At that point, I may have even taken the Lord's name in vain myself. No, no, Father, that, that wasn't it either. You see, while I'm sitting there wondering if this is some kind of sign from God, the squirrel is able to wriggle himself free from the hawk's grip. The squirrel and my ball fall onto the green. The squirrel takes off. My ball rolls to within about 18 inches of the hole. You missed the goddamn putt, didn't you? Sorry.